Hi! Kamusta? Halina't samahan niyo akong basagi ng lumbay sa pagbuo ng panibagong yugto ng buhay. Tara, kapitayo. His name is Alfred. He is a teenager. He wants to be successful in life. He has a lot of dreams and aspiration for his future. It's just that he spends almost half of his day playing Mobile Legends with his friends. Her name is Amy. She's been with her boyfriend since junior high school. They often fight because her boyfriend always tries to control the way she dresses, who she hangs out with, and tells her to do things she doesn't want to do. He is Jomar. He hates the way he looks because he has a lot of acne on his face. He doesn't want to mingle with his classmate because he's afraid that they will tease him or avoid him because of how he looks. She is Alison. She is a senior high school student but she's still undecided about what she wants to accomplish in life. She still doesn't know if she's taking the right path. Maybe some or most of you are also experiencing the same situation as Alfred, Amy, Jomar, and Alison. These are the challenges and tasks that adolescents are facing right now. You may be thinking, how will you able to get through this? There are different developmental tasks according to Happy Girls. Number one is learning to get along with friends of both sexes. To learn to look upon girls as women and boys as men. To become an adult among adults. To learn to work with others for a common purpose, disregarding personal feelings, and to lead without dominating. Another task is accepting one's physical body and keeping it healthy. To accept one's body, to keep it healthy through good nutrition, exercise, disease prevention, and other health practices. Third is becoming more self-sufficient. To develop affection for parents without dependence upon them. To develop respect for all their adults without dependence upon them as well. Number four, task, making decisions about marriage and family life. To explore attitudes toward family life and having children to acquire the knowledge necessary for home management. Fifth is preparing for a job or career. To develop career or vocational goals and ways to reach these goals. To be able to make a living. Sixth task, Acquiring a set of values to guide behavior. To develop an outlook toward life based on what is important. Seventh, becoming socially responsible. To participate as a responsible person with friends at home and in the community. To develop personal moral values to guide behavior. As you go through adolescence, you will face many difficult decisions. Sean Covey wrote a great book entitled, The Six Most Important Decisions You'll Ever Make. This book is a guide for teens like you to survive. It gives teens advice on how to make smart decisions such as school, dating, parents, friends, and addictions. I'll be giving you tips on how to become responsible adolescents as inspired by Covey's book. The six most important decisions you'll ever make. Tip number one, decision to finish school. It is important to finish school even if it gets hard because most jobs require at least a high school diploma. Here are some tips in getting good grades. Believe you can. Show up. Do extra credit. Get on your teacher's good side. Be strong even if it's hard. Gather your resources and develop smart study habits. Tip number two, decision to choose friends wisely. Choose friends that will lead you to the right path and stand up to peer pressure. Choose friends who like you for who you are and not for what you have. Do not try to be popular. Just be yourself. If your friends are forcing you to change who you are and telling you to do stuff, that you don't need or want, 
then you are with the wrong friends. Tip number three. Decision to have a good relationship with parents. First, you must recognize how hard it is to raise a child. Showing your parents respect is key to earning their trust and having a good relationship. If your parents are strict, most likely they just care about you. It's better to have parents who are overprotective than parents who don't care at all. Tip number four, decision to date intelligently. Key is to date intelligently. Treat sex as a big deal. If you are being forced to have sex, then it means that you are in a wrong relationship. Another thing is, look for the signs of an abusive relationship such as forcing you to have sex, name-calling, blaming, a slap or a push. It's time to let go and don't be stuck with this kind of toxic relationship. Tip number 5. Decision to let go of addiction. Video games, internet surfing, sex, gambling, alcohol, and drugs are examples of addictions. To avoid this, focus more with self-loving activities such as exercise, sports, music, service, journal writing, or other habits which will make your life more meaningful. Tip number 6. Decision to stop comparing yourself to others. There are two mirrors to choose from, the social mirror and the true mirror. The social mirror is unrealistic. It is based on how you compare yourself to others. Meanwhile, the true mirror is based on your potential and personal best. Always look at the true mirror and focus on what you can control.